Hi guys, welcome back to uh, the Daily Top 7 and 7. Today is January the 24th, 2017, and our world news hiatus is over. However, in order to bring you the news, we are dropping our tech tweets and are trending now uh, until we feel like we can put those in in a timely manner. Let's go ahead and start uh, at the top with your world news. China foreign minister says, wants to manage disputes with U.S., China wants dialogue with the new U.S. administration to manage disputes and promote bilateral relations, but only on the basis of respecting each other's core interests, like the One China Principle, China's foreign minister said. Israel plans more than 2,500 new settler homes to start Trump era. Israel announced plans on Tuesday for 2,500 more settlement homes in the occupied West Bank, the second such declaration since U.S. Donald, uh, US President Donald Trump took office, signaling he could be more accommodating towards such product projects than his predecessor. Foreign powers back Syria truce deal, war, war erupts among rebels. Russians, um, <clears throat> Russia and regional powers, Turkey and Iran, backed a shaky truce between Syria's warring parties on Tuesday and agreed to monitor its compliance, but on the grounds rebels faced continued fighting on two fronts, which could undermine the deal. New Zealand government orders building repairs due to quake risks. The New Zealand government said on Tuesday, uh, on, I'm sorry, on Wednesday, that it will require building owners to urgently fix hundreds of hazardous buildings due to the concerns over the heightened earthquake risk following a deadly tremor in November. And if I do believe correctly, New Zealand, like, uh, like the west coast of the United States, is on the ring of fire. So... Uh, earthquake risk is actually kind of a big deal. When we first started the daily top seven and seven, we were taking a look at uh, the daily earthquakes. But um, considering that most of the daily earthquakes were in the realm of uh, 4.5, 5.5s, you know, it's kind of depressing knowing that that many earthquakes go on that many times a day. Uh, and of course, uh, as we were noticing, a lot of them were happening in Micronesia, around India, and in that area. So to hear that New Zealand is uh, trying to basically take measures uh, and fix, you know, things over, uh, you know, hazardous buildings due to concerns over the heightened risk or earthquake risk, that seems very logical on their part. Okay, so. South Korea chief, uh, court chief urges ruling on Park's impeachment by uh, March 13th. The outgoing chief judge of South Korea's constitutional court urged the court on Wednesday to conclude the impeachment trial of President Park Gwon Hee by March 13th, when the retirement of another judge bill will reduce the nine judge bench to seven. Francis Fillon acts to head off scandal over wife's work. The frontrunner in France's presidential election race, uh, scandal, that's not news. UN racing to prepare aid for civilians ahead of battle for West Mosul. The United Nations said on Tuesday it is racing against the clock to prepare emergency aid for hundreds of thousands of endangered civilians in Mosul with an Iraqi armor, uh, army offensive looming to oust Islamic State from the western half of the city. That's another story that we've been covering for quite a while. And Brazil probe sees no mechanical failure in judge's plane crash. A small plane carrying a Brazilian Supreme Court justice overseeing a political bribery investigation did not suffer any obvious mechanical failure when it crashed into a bay amid heavy rain and killed all five on board, investigators said on Tuesday. And in the other uh, stories... Parliament must vote you before UK can trigger Brexit, uh, and the Knights of Malta head resigns after dispute with the Vatican. Hmm. Interesting news. All right, well, it seems like uh, everything is kind of up in arms right now, so uh, before I decide that I'm going to continue to stop doing the news, I'm going to keep doing the news, you know? Uh, it seems like the tech tweets weren't really serving any purpose. It seems like uh, whatever is trending now doesn't really seem to do uh, to serve a purpose. But uh, to be able to get the news on a daily basis, 
kind of does. So I'm going to go ahead and cover the news and keep doing that until the end of the month. If you guys have any comments or uh, questions or concerns, please leave them in the comments section below. My name is Kane, Virtual Kane. Yes, you know the name and now you know the game. World news all up at you. So tune in tomorrow and we will have another episode of your daily top seven at seven.